Now that we know Peyton Manning is going to Denver, there's fallout all around the league, starting right there in Denver with Tim Tebow. You know, it was just this past season, Tebow took over the country. Now you have to wonder, he's probably not even going to be there. Where might he go? What happens with Tebow now? Well, admit it, you know, the, the whole process, we, we, we saw that reserved optimism, I guess would be the way. You know, I mean, John Elway was always kind of hedging just a little bit. John Fox, you know, he's played the same game he's played for years, never gives you an inch on, on anything. but. We just kept hearing it over and over again. Oh, yeah, we like Tim. We think Tim's great. You know, Tim needs improvement. But there were always these subtle signs that he was going to be going. So this is this should not be shocking to people that Tim Tebow is on the trading block. And I think there'll be a few suitors out there. I just don't know what the price would be. And I don't know if there is a team out there that is dying to have him as their starting quarterback right now. Yeah, it always felt like you kind of had a feeling they didn't really sure. want to, but they couldn't upset the fans. Peyton seemed to provide the perfect opportunity. The one guy. Yeah, exactly. where it's like, oh, we're getting Peyton Manning. How could we not? Yep. And to move on from Tebow. So if Tebow is going to go somewhere else, you know, he's, it's got it's a tough match to figure yep. out where he could go and where he could fit in. Anywhere that comes to mind all right, right away? Well, the Miami Dolphins happen to need a starting quarterback. They've looked at Alex Smith, and, and that's certainly a possibility. We know that, that Ryan Tannehill in the draft is a possibility. They're picking seventh, and they've got an offensive coordinator in Mike Sherman who coached him at, at Texas A&M. That makes sense. But Tebow could be a guy you pair him with, you know, and so Tebow can be ready now. You still have Matt Moore. You could draft a QB. That's one option. The Jacksonville Jaguars, we remember the comments of Wayne Weaver and, and you know, the possibility of bringing him in as the hometown uh, favorite. They do have Blaine Gabbert. Hey, why not a Gabbert for Tebow trade? You can have Gabbert back up uh, Manning in Denver. He'd need a couple years to, to progress. Could be interesting. I'll just throw it out there. Why not? Yeah, I mean, it's always been the natural fit is to see him go to Jacksonville. But also they said, signed Chad Henney. So Correct. you figure that, you know, he's there. It's just a, such a strange mix. You just don't know if there's an offense that fits what Te Tim Tebow does. They made it work in Denver. We'll see if someone else does as well. Alex Smith now. You know, he was in meeting with Miami, the Niners flirted with Peyton. Now that he's not, Peyton's not going to San Francisco, you think Smith goes back there? I think it's the best scenario for everybody. Alex Smith's grown some tough skin over the years. Listen, he's taken it from the fans, he's taken it from past coaching staff. You know, Jim Harbaugh did him a big favor by showing a lot of support last year. He rode it all the way to the NFC Championship game. Look, can he, can he be upset for being uh, possibly uh, put aside for a few days for a Hall of Fame quarterback? I don't think he can. He's going to probably sign a, a deal that includes an extra year, maybe a financial apology of some sort, a little makeup money to make him feel better. And I think he's going to be back starting for the, for the San Francisco 49ers next year. It's a situation that makes the most sense. It's hard to really blame either side. I mean, Harbaugh was so supportive and said yeah. Alex Smith is our guy, made it sound like they were going to go for Peyton. Then he does because how can you not go for a guy? Yeah. But in the end, it just seems to make too much sense for Alex Smith to end up back in San Francisco. We'll see how it all plays out. You can follow it here at ProFootballWeekly.com.